Hello Libras. Welcome to your reading. This is a very special message. This is going to be a message for Libra from the King of Swords. The King of Swords came out of my tarot deck earlier and said they have a message for Libra. We do have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Libra. What's wild is I was putting away my characteristic cup where I have these writings written. And there was one writing in the bottom that didn't want to come out. As I was preparing for this reading, I was putting that away. And the one paper that didn't want to come out says, Dependable and Stable. So Libra, this King of Swords should be shown to be dependable and stable. But let's see how this reading goes. A little bit about the King of Swords. Kings are active rulers and protectors, willing to defend their realms and dispense justice. Swords cards all relate to intellectual issues. When the King of Swords appears in a tarot reading, you can expect swift, decisive action in the realm of the intellect. Traditionally, the King of Swords was said to represent lawyers, doctors, surgeons, and senators. When the King of Swords appears in a reading, it could also indicate that you'll be dealing with legal, financial, or medical advice. Today, the King of Swords often describes a man of action with a keen intellect that generates a steady stream of ideas. Key words are judgment, power, command, authority. Interesting. Also, this person, Libra, you'll know them because they are an effective leader and they have a commanding presence. Okay? This King of Swords commands the room. Yes? All right. The Four of Wands, Libra. You can almost certainly expect a celebration in the near future. It could be a wedding, like the one pictured on the card. It could be a bridal shower, a bachelor party, a housewarming, or a baby shower. It could even be a casual get-together with friends or co-workers. This card also suggests a firm foundation for family life as well as domestic tranquility. Historically, the Four of Wands was said to symbolize unexpected good fortune, both upright and in its reversed position. It also symbolized the haven of country life. Just having a lot of land, Libra. I heard land to expand. To watch the sunset and the sunrise and the horizon, I heard. You, you watch the horizon together. Dance on the balconies. Ooh, Libra! Message! This is about stability, prosperity, peace, good fortune, union, harmony, success, and happiness. Alrighty, let's get into the reading for Libra. What does this dependable and stable King of Swords want to tell you Libra? Us Libra, let's go. Okay, I'm hearing one shuffle to get some of your energy into the cards. They're ready to give and take. 
they're ready to make magic with the magician and the six of pentacles the two cards that i just so happened to open the deck on they're ready to stabilize this they're realizing the importance of a give and take of a balance with that six of pentacles wow libra wow libra you saw me even shuffle libra the four of wands back out This king of swords, this is their main desire, one of their main desires at this time to have the ace of cups with Libra, this fresh new beginning, almost like a, a burst of positive emotions will be shared. Wow. To get the King of Swords to express emotion with the Ace of Cups, Libra. That's no light. That's no light, you know, thing. <laughs> that's no light feather, right? To communicate. Some type of communication with the Eight of Wands. It's happening overnight. Text, call, email, DM. It's going down in the DM. I just heard it for some. <laughs> oh my gosh, listen. It's 2022. I mean, what do you expect them to do? Write you a formal letter and send it to your home address? Libra, I request the presence of thy honorable judicial justice, Libra. <laughs> like, come on, Libra. I mean, don't take offense when I'm like, it goes down in the DM. Oop. Look who's at the bottom. We have another king entering the chat. The king of pentacles. We'll keep going. This is about the king of swords. Oh, a battle for Libra's heart may ensue. Oh. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Between a King of Pentacles and the King of Swords, oh, that's a that, that's a battle. That's a battle. Oh my 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 my. Oh my my my. And I'm not saying this, you know. It, it we don't want anybody to fight over us. I'm just joshing around. I'm just kidding around, Libra. I'm in high spirits for this reading because I thought, wow, this is different. I've never really done this before. All right, Libra, we have the High Priestess with the Three of Cups at the bottom. This person has received an accurate reading from a true High Priestess. They know the truth now, Libra. The truth has come to light. Like the <clears throat> lunation of the full moon. The past lunacies have come to light. That other people have done around them. Like ludicrous things some ludicrous things that could have been said about you Libra but yet they see you in this three of cups energy celebrating with a few of your real ones not too many right but a few of your real ones 
and harvest season begins early for Libra. You don't have to wait for Libra season. It's coming now. <laughs> Libra. This is how this King of Swords sees it. Sees you. They could also see you as a high priestess. You tell the truth. That's what I just heard. They're like, Libra never lied. They told the truth. This person could be ready to bring more spirituality into their physical life, this King of Swords. They've been enlightened. Look who's at the bottom. The Hanged Man. There's been a sort of enlightenment, a turnaround here. He's not your typical hangman. He doesn't hang upside down any longer. He's hanging out with his ravens. But he does have a portrait of himself, this card, hanging upside down. As almost like a reminder. I'm hearing a reminder of the past. This life or a past life, Libra. But nonetheless, the Two of Wands, this card is about bringing more spirituality into the physical. He's balancing an, an invisible with the physical, the fireball. But concentrating on the physical. This person may need to bring more spirituality into their physical life. This King of Swords. They realize that. Again, there's been some type of enlightenment excuse me i need a drink of water i'm a little parched okay one more card and then we'll keep moving into these other decks of cards i have that have messages for you as well libra for this reading one more card what would this king of swords like to tell libra Whoa, that's too many. No, 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 no. That's way too many. One card. There we go. The Hermit. They're doing the work. They want to say they're going inward, Libra. They're really learning more about the energies around them, what's been happening in their lives up until this point, and why these things have occurred, um, choices that have been made. They're, they're trying to go inward. They're, they're really trying to learn the hermit. They could see you as this very, very wise and knowledgeable person. You don't need a group of people around you, Libra, to hype you up. You know what's keeping your, your light lit your candle bright. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, Libra. What am I going to have to do a separate reading about what the King of Pentacles would like to tell you? I'm hearing yes, yes. My guides are like, yes, yes. Because look, he came out twice. Always at the bottom, though. Like, always around the corner, like, yeah, that, that, that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Libra, you are being seen by this King of Swords as a dragon queen. Rise up, embrace the might within. Warrior, queen, mother, empress. 
which stand beneath the stars, dance with the sunbeams. Show this human world your grace and power. Woo, this person sees you, Libra, uh, especially Divine Femme Librans, as a source of divine grace and power. Wow. Two cards. Let's go. Dragon fire and dragon love. Dragon fire is magical. With it, we can reignite the sacred fire that burns within. Let us breathe gently upon this now. Let the healing of the dragon flame within begin. Wow, so they, they're ready for this healing to occur. Dragon love. Love endures, preserves, and creates the conditions for growth. We dragons now offer all you need to create loving bonds that enrich and inspire you. Open your heart wide and be ready to receive. Dragon love. Wow. Okay, Libra. <clears throat> yeah. At the bottom, dragon sense. You are intuitive. You can connect with realms in between and beyond your world. This king of swords recognizes this within you, Libra. We dragons can heighten and sharpen your natural intuition. Breathe in and feel your every sense awaken and expand. Nice. Let's go ahead and get one card. Messages in regards to this King of Swords and Libra. They think you're very gifted in divination. I just heard prophet or prophetess as well. Maybe both of you are gifted. Everyone has their own gifts. I'm just saying. Similar gifts, possibly. Or I'm hearing complementary gifts. Your gifts will complement each other. You'll have different, separate, unique gifts, but they will complement each other when in union. Top card. Yeah. Retreat. Cave. I'm not saying this is going to happen this week or, you know, even next week. But I feel like this person is really trying to heal. They could be going through retreating again. It's, it's, it's hermit energy. Going within. They could be seeking the wisdom of their ancestors or the elders around them. We have ancestor wisdom at the bottom. Libra, let me just take a minute or two to read the divine meanings of these cards. It's very small. Cave, retreat first. Focus on you. Get away from it all. Retreat to a spa. Enjoy a massage. Or take a sea salt bath to revive your spirit. Your soul craves quiet time. Rest and recuperate without any guilt in preparation for the next leg of your journey. That's what you, Libra, and possibly this King of Swords definitely needs to do at this time as well ancestors would like to tell you libra light a candle that's so wild i just thought about this today light a candle in remembrance and honor of the ancestors someone from your past turns up investigate your ancestral lineage you are watched over by a deceased loved one a past life issue needs to be resolved. This King of Swords is from your past life, Libra. A visit to your homeland could hold answers. 
Wow. Also, now at the bottom of the deck, we have Bell's Deflection. This is about deflecting evil eye and negative energy. This is also something you and your person, this King of Swords, uh, needs to actively do, I'm hearing. Okay. I'm going to pull a Love Activation card now. What would this King of Swords like to tell Libra? Purpose. They feel you're part of their purpose. <clears throat> Libra, life purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. They feel like you're such a loving soul, Libra. You're so beautiful and loving. I heard unlike others. Yeah, you have this sense of humility. Look at the card you got. Humility. And you are... You're not afraid to express joy. No one's always happy, but you really seem to bring out the joy in others just by being you, Libra. Humility says you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. Joy says you delight in the love of life. And you bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Yes, you do, Libra, my friends. Honest. And now these Zodiac cards would like to tell you one last message. Give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate you so much, Libra land. We have Saturn and Uranus. Don't let others' expectations control your own sense of destiny. No one can determine your actions except you, okay? And then we had Venus at the bottom. So Saturn and Venus says time takes its toll on the human form, but true beauty never fades. Let it shine in your eyes at all ages. Libra, land. There you go. Those were your messages from this King of Swords. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Stay balanced and stay blessed always. Until next time, peace.